Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to look at weather and we're going to look at how we measure uh, weather using different weather instruments. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at is temperature and this um, temperature is measured uh, using a thermometer. Okay, so we'll just put up here using a thermometer. So a thermometer is used to measure uh, and record the temperature um, each day. And this is what a thermometer looks like. Now there's a few things, important things you need to know about each instrument, okay? And the first one is um, how it's measured. And a thermometer is measured in degrees Celsius. So just like we said, we said a thermometer is measured in degrees Celsius, so measured in degrees... Celsius and it looks like okay so that would be like it um, the next thing is um, what is uh, so temperature is shown on a map by isotherms so you need to know how each uh, different weather is type of weather is shown on a map. And isotherms, you need to know what isotherms are. Isotherms are lines on a map. Joining places of equal temperature. So joining places of equal temperature. The second weather instrument we're going to look at is um, how to measure uh, precipitation. Precipitation is, is rainfall, and precipitation is measured by a rain gauge. So a rain gauge. And this is, this is a rain gauge over here. So basically what happens is you put like a, you have like a funnel, and the rainwater will, will, will fall from the sky and it'll fall into, be collected into the funnel and then it'll, into a, like um, a beaker and you can then measure the amount of rainfall that fell over a particular period of time, usually over like one day. And one thing to note is that it's measured in millimetres. Okay, so it's measured in uh, millimetres. See so how it's measured, it's measured in millimetres. So it's mm. Rainfall is shown, or precipitation is shown on, on a map by lines uh, call, called isoyets. So they're called isoyets. And just like iso terms that we looked in the last uh, for, for, for a thermometer, lines of equal temperature, isoyets are lines on a map shown equal precipitation. So as I yet our lines of equal pressure oh sorry of equal um equal places for of equal rainfall lines on a map joining places of equal Precipitation. Okay, so we're going to look at the next uh, two weather instruments, um, and we're going to look at how wind is measured, like the speed of it, and basically then how like we measure the direction of wind. Okay, so wind is is going to be um, the instrument that we use to look at the the wind direction. Is called a wind vane. So wind vane. And the instrument that we use to measure the wind speed is called an anemometer. It's an anemometer. 
And you can see here that I've got the wind vane here and I've got the anemometer here, okay? So how it works is, whatever way the wind is coming from, the wind vane will, will, will spin around and show you the, the direction of which the wind is coming from. And with the anemometer, it basically catches the wind in these little cups, okay? And these cups spin around and this generates the wind speed down here in the generator, okay? And it tells you how fast uh, the wind uh, speed is. So, for measured, we will put in here that uh, measured wind speed is expressed, it can be expressed in knots, or it can be expressed in uh, kilometers per hour. So kilometers per hour. So there we have it. The two instruments that you need to know is wind vane and an anemometer. Wind vane measures the direction in which the wind is coming from. Anemometer measures the speed and it's measured in knots or kilometers per hour. The next uh, instrument that we're going to look at is an instrument that is used to measure atmospheric pressure. And the instrument that we use to measure uh, atmospheric pressure is called a barometer. Okay, so it's called a barometer. It's measured in millibars. So millibars, or sometimes it can be measured in, in hectopascals, but it's usually measured in millibars. And it's shown on a map of lines of equal pressure, as an, it's an, called an isobar, or isobars. And isobars are lines on a map. Joining places of equal pressure. So over here you can see that this is what a barometer looks like. And just to let you know that right now the barometer is, is looking at it's about a hundred and um, about 112 millibars and that would be an area of high pressure normal atmospheric pressure should be at a thousand so if it, was, if it was here and anything below a thousand is low atmospheric pressure and anything above uh, 1000 is high atmospheric pressure so next time you look at like a, a map and you can see that the atmospheric pressure is like if it says 1010 you could say it's high if it's 990 millibars you would say it's low the next instrument that we're going to look at um, is the instrument that is used to measure uh, humidity. And the name of the instrument is called a hydrometer. So a hygrometer. So a hygrometer. It's measured. It's measured in percentage. Okay, and this is what a hygrometer looks like over here, okay? So basically it looks like you have two thermometers. And one thermometer, this one here, is a dry bulb, and it's like a normal thermometer. And then you have this one here, which is like, as the bottom of it is in, is going to be wet. It's kept in water, okay? And it's going to be kept wet at all times. And basically what happens is that this one here, uh, evaporation from the wet bulb, the thermometer results in the temperature of the wet bulb being lower than the results in the dry bulb. And the difference between the two indicate the relative humidity uh, in the air. And the relative humidity is expressed in a percentage. Okay, so an example would be if the dry bulb was at 70 degree, uh, degrees Fahrenheit, so that would be about 20 degrees, and 50 degrees Fahrenheit would be about uh, 10 degrees. The difference between the two of these would be 10 degrees so then I, I would go and I would check um, my relative humidity table and I would find out that because there's a 10 degrees difference between my uh, dry bulb and my wet bulb and it's at, my dry bulb is at 20 degrees and it's at, it's a ten, there's a 10 degrees difference 
that means that there's a 24% humidity level in the air, okay? And I just found that because I looked at my relative humidity table, okay? So it's a little chart that you can work out the, different, the, the percentage um, of humidity. The last instrument, weather instrument that we're going to look at is um, how to measure sunshine. And we measure, we measure sunshine using the Campbell, so the Campbell Stokes Sunshine Recorder. We measure sunshine in hours. So in hours. And it's shown on the map. It's the lines of equal sunshine per day is known as isohels. And I'll just write out what isohels are. It's really important. So isohels are lines on a map. Joining places of equal sunshine. Equal sunshine. And that's what ISO Hells are. Here's what a Campbell Stokes sunshine recorder looks like. And basically what happens is the sun's rays come out here, shine through the glass, and along here we'll have uh, this little uh, white strip. And basically it'll burn marks along the strip. And we measure uh, the lengths of the burn strips, and they give basically, they're added up to give like a total amount of sunshine. Okay, so we've looked at all the different types of weather instruments that you can have, that you can find, and we've looked at different ways uh, that we measure um, the different types of weather and how we can uh, like spot and find the different type of weather on maps. The next thing you need to know is you need to know what this box is here, okay, this white wooden box. And the reason why it's painted white is because it's painted white to reflect uh, sun. And it also has got these little slants in it, and the reason why it's got slants in it is to uh, allow air to circulate inside it. And this box is called a Stevenson screen. So, Stevenson screen. And this comes up quite frequently on the junior certificate examination. They might ask you, I've seen it come up a lot of times in the short questions, and I'll ask you, what is the name of this uh, box, okay? It's called a Stevenson screen. And inside the Stevenson screen, you will find thermometers and barometers. So all you need to know is that you f inside uh, in Stevenson screen, you will find uh, thermometers and barometers. Okay, so that's it for the end of today's tutorial. We looked at all the different types of weather instruments. And I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this tutorial and found it very useful. This is a really important uh, chapter and part of the geography uh, course because they get a lot, of sh a lot of questions, particularly on the short questions um, on these different things, such as like Isle of Bars, Isle of Hells, Isle of Yetz, um, what's the Stephen's uh, screen and so on. So you need to know a lot. You need to just, if you know everything that we've talked through in the video, you'll be absolutely fine. If you enjoyed the video, can you please leave me some feedback in the, in the comments below? Also, can you... Check out more of our videos on our website, www.examrevision.ie, and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram for all the latest news. Thanks, guys.